Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a review of the Oshkosh H series with uh, it comes with the snow blower and the plow. And uh, separately, I purchased the sweeper to go on the front of it. This is made by TWH and 150 scale and is uh, a very detailed model. I highly recommend it for the price. I got it for the um, the t the diecastmodels.co runway special in which I got the Oshkosh Striker uh, with it as well and this one came free but uh, very happy with it very detailed and um, I, I like it a lot for you know it's a good snow removal piece of equipment so just gonna get started there's the machine itself and there are the different pieces I got with it I'm just gonna we'll put these on later in the review so just gonna get these out of the way here and uh, just start with the machine itself so as you can see uh, the doors open on both sides I just opened it on one side to start off uh, you can see very detailed operator area get the light in there you can see uh, armrest and everything uh, I haven't I don't think those are spring those aren't spring loaded seats like on the uh, Mac made by sword um, so just stick it on uh, kind of along the top move to the front here uh, you've got a warning beacon up on top and then here's your your visor with some lights along the front of it the door does close and you can barely see the hinges which is nice in the front uh, you've got your with all these lights on them which I like a lot I did I I'm a big fan of lights and um, just having so many of them in this warning beacon which is also kind of a rarity on some models to so get a warning beacon I like a lot so moving around um, got the Oshkosh logo on the front of the truck and a warning label and two lower windows to be able to see right out and uh, see where the edge of your attachment is whatever and you've got more lights here are your hydraulic cylinders to raise and lower the bracket for the uh, any attachments these cylinders are very very stiff but if you put them kind of in the middle you don't have to move them at all they kind of can stay in one place and they work for all attachments this piece right here is uh, the drive shaft and that just that's for the snow blower uh, and uh, it just goes in and into a uh, there's a spot for it the here, I'll show it to you you can see the drive shaft going in here it goes right into that black uh, gear case and just stays there so then this pin uh, you pull in and the attachment just curls over and you put the pin through it so you can see in here you've got uh, hooks for the uh, snow blowers got some chain safety chains on it here right in there uh, and there are your fittings for hydraulic hoses for the um, different attachments same on this side, light, more fittings, and uh, another light. The wheels in the front do turn, and as you can tell, they've got uh, rubber mud flaps, which is nice. Good detail on the tires. Uh, I like how the lugs are painted a different color. So, moving on, you can see that the uh, catwalks are etched all the way through which is a good detail also uh, metal handrail here which does bend a little bit but that's all right so moving back here are your uh, there's your exhaust on the on the top and uh, all your air intake and everything uh, is right next to it these panels do come off like these ones right here but I just didn't uh, some assembly is required on the model. You do have to put on the mirrors and the catwalks, but that's fairly easy. Or not the catwalks, the, the handles. 
So, moving on a little bit more. There are two motors on this model. One in here to run your attachments, and then one back here to power the truck itself. So, that's the explanation for the two stacks. Uh, just because some of these, like the snowblower and the sweeper, require a lot of power takeoff and uh, it requires its own mo uh, motor. So, very detailed engine in here. Uh, looks great and the cover just comes down and it snaps on, but it's kind of spring loaded, so it'll stay up. It won't hold a position, but once you put it down, it stays down. So you can see down there some warning labels. There's the fuel tank. Back tires turn and they turn really far, which is uh, good detail. So there's a little bit of suspension on the model, both front and back, uh, but not a not a whole lot. So here's a toolbox right there. Moving to the back, which is uh, my favorite part of the model, actually, or one of my favorites. You got this big grill that is etched all the way through, and you can see the radiator on the other side. A uh, ton of lights, uh, which I've already said uh, are my favorite lights. And this is a, a tow hook. It's supposed to be a panel hitch, but the uh, other part of it uh, did not come with it. I don't know why, but the pictures show panel hitch. So, but that's okay. I can it can still be used. Oshkosh logo. Moving to this side, uh, you've got your covered battery box, just so that uh, no s junk gets inside there. So that's nice, closes. Moving back to this side of the model, pretty much the same. The way these go in is uh, you just get the bottom part in, and it sits just like that. These, this side's a little loose, the other side's a little tight. I really don't know what, why, but. So, still looks good. So, looking at the underside. Very, very detailed on the underside. Uh, you've got your gearbox down here, uh, going down. Here's your gearbox up front for the uh, Coming off the motor for the attachments, it goes down to the drive shaft. Uh, you've got some wiring in there going from the fuel tanks to you know tell the driver fuel levels and whatnot. This is the bottom of your battery box up here. You can see here this, how the steering mechanisms work from the underside, all the drive shaft and everything. Uh, just very very detailed and uh, looks great. So I'm gonna take now we're gonna look at uh, all the attachments on the model, but I'm also gonna take this opportunity to change the battery on my camera.